six months later, okay, free nipple graft. No, it wasn't free nipple. Was it free nipple? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. free nipple graft. So we did free nipple grafts on him. He's six months later. Show me a pack. Yeah, so you can see his big pack here. Suture line's actually doing well. And what you see here, which is interesting, um, in a way anyway, because uh, free nipple grafts can often hypopigment in people of color, and he's a man of color. So what hypopigmentation is some of the, uh, the grafting uh, cells in here, the, the pigment cells, just go away. So in his case, they kind of went away, but look how they came back, except for this, this lighter pattern on the inside. Now, what's interesting from my point of view, in the era of tattoos, this could be like the coolest thing since sliced bread. What do you think about this? Thing? <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, so, I so, well, I mean, but the, the tattoos, yeah, so what's really kind of cool, I mean, this is the way I would look at it, knowing how people try to put things on them, and he's got a few, few tattoos, knowing how people try to add this individuality to their chest. Think about this. I mean, how freaking cool is this? So, personally, I would leave it, but let's just say. You didn't. Let's say you think this is weird or something. You tattoo it. So the same thing that he has over here, wherever, you could just tattoo that and it's just easy peasy. So not a problem. But I like the fact that he, he thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. <laughs> so things, uh, tell me about how it, it's evolved. I mean, how have you changed? Uh, how? Just, I mean, uh, just my, I'm more, so, so, so much more confident. Uh, so around my life, just, I, I just feel hold on better. You been working out? Yes, sir. I could tell, man. So your arms are like, you, his arms are bigger than my legs, which is really kind of cool. Um, do you have any kind of uh, input for people who got something similar to you in terms of advice or anything like that? Um, just looking to get the surgery. Get it done. Yeah. It's life changing, literally. Yeah, it's life changing, literally. man. Yeah. Uh, it's a big deal, yeah. So basically, for you folks out there that have, I mean, he has a, obviously an advanced case. Uh, uh, but it does illustrate the, uh, the nature of the advanced case, you know, um, more than uh, the closed cases, I say, where these are scars that go across his chest. But you can see even for them this period of time, they've done pretty well. And also, I, I remind you, he's a man of color, which basically means that they, people of color tend to, to, to heal a little bit harder and a little bit uh, darker. Um, and he's actually done really super well with that. But changed his life for the better, and it's a game changer, and so that's why... Uh, we appreciate you being back here and talking sure. about this because, again, it's not about me. It's about you and what's happened to you and, and uh, the impact that that's going to have on people that are sitting at home and, and kind of have this condition. But once again, I just love the pigment on his tattoos, and I think he's, he's a strong man. He's got strong character to really embrace that, which is really the cool. You talk about unique. There's nobody in the world who has what he has right here. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you don't like that. You got a problem with it. You tattoo and voila. And so... Uh, you know, not a problem. In fact, that's actually what in the real it is, is sort of just a tattoo area. You wouldn't, I could have just cut the skin out, period, and someone could have just tattooed it around circle there, which is weird because the visual aspect of it, it does give us orientation and gives us sort of that, that uh, normal kind of look. So we appreciate you being here a thousand percent and, and helping out with uh, the so video much. and stuff. Right, look at that. Look at that. Look at the other side too. I mean, these nice. little strips for the first like two months. So. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, that's like pretty awesome. Different. You're right. I didn't even. You know, it's really kind of funny. I don't even see that because yeah. it's like it said. It's it's not a natural crease that's on the side of his chest as well. But listen to what he said. He said he used those scar strips for two months. I can tell you this, um, and actually just injected steroids in another patient for a different reasons. But the the issue is the number one treatment for scars. It's early, so you, you you always treat a scar early. Once you have a scar for over a year, it's really hard to make a change in a scar. But if you get a new scar from a surgery or a cut or whatever, silicone strips, silicone sheeting is really the, the, the key to success here. The, the lube or the gel is okay, it's better than nothing, but the strips itself is really the way to go. We don't even know how it works. We have some theories and stuff, but I can tell you in 30 years of practice, it definitely works. And so. Uh, he's living proof because that's uh, and it's not even a, it's not even a year. How far? Six months. Six, six months. Yeah. I mean, so you can imagine in, in in two years, which is the time it really takes for this to all live up. I mean, he'll be rocking, and then it'll be like you know, babe, you actually have excisional surgery, and then we have the luxury of his before and afters. But <laughs> his before and afters will be on this video, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So that's a whole nother thing. So. You know, right now we're just seeing him and like, well, whatever, what are we seeing? Well, you take a look at his befores and you'll be going like, yeah, we know what we're seeing. And we know 
what you were dealing with, yeah. and we know that it's gone, and you wonder why it changed his life. I mean, it would change anybody's life, man. So really, the thing I'm going to leave him with is this. Glad he's doing well. Glad he's happy. Because if he's not happy, what good did I do? Glad I was able to help. I'm glad he's here. He's a good man. Um, and uh, once again, weight. So continue with your weight. Get your weight down to as close to a normal BMI as possible. And then you're the doctor's dream and you're a good patient. Awesome. Very good.